We're in West London, but not that you'd know it. The Holland and Holland Shooting School moved here to Northwood in the 1930s from its birthplace in Wembley. It is set in 60 acres of barely adulterated countryside. To show us around, I'm joined by Chief Shooting Instructor Chris Bird. He's been here a good few years too. He's kindly offered to give me one of their very special gun fitting sessions. Stock length, I think I'm going to go longer than standard straight away. Um, I'm a bit lengthy, just, yeah. Well, as I say, it depends on technique as well, but I'm going to start a little bit longer and, um, and we'll go from there. Just so I've got a rough idea. Once we're out on the grounds, we make adjustments to what we, uh, we see you doing and um, then we lose track of what the measurements actually are. Then we come back in and record those measurements here, put them on paper, I send them off to uh, Bruton Street, send it off to the factory. People travel halfway around the world for one of these, and anyone can have one. It's not reserved just for Holland and Holland would-be or even current owners. It's less than the price of a normal shooting lesson, and by the end of it, I'm hoping Chris will have ironed out some of my creases, or cut away some of the dead wood. Okay, good, then unload. Excellent. Okay, well that looked pretty good gun there. How did that feel? It felt very good. It felt actually. pretty typical, yes? Yes. Okay, what I'm going to do then, I'm going to increase your cast. Yes. Because as you see from the pattern, you've gone a little bit to the left. Yeah. And I'm going to just lower it slightly, but as I said earlier, I'm quite careful with that. Yes. So if I may just make those adjustments. Now, is there any point at which I should be disagreeing with you? You know, I should be saying no. What, what I absolutely need to know is if it's bumping you anywhere. Uh, um, yes, uh, hitting you. Thank Recoil you. issues. Uh, basically, the fitted gun should hit the target, not you. Okay. Yep, so I do need to know that. Hey, can you draw yourself around? It's fascinating yeah. stuff. It's a bit like zeroing a rifle scope. Down a bit, left a bit. Talking about rifles, Chris also runs courses for anyone wanting to get into rifle shooting or just wants a guiding hand, but more about that in coming weeks. Next on the gun fitting list are a few gentle going away birds. Nice targets for Chris to fine tune the browning. Okay. Good for second shot. Your first shot, you're over the top. Right. You did have your head up off the stock slightly. How do yeah. you cope with driver error like that? Training. When you're, when you're trying to fix. Tra training and teaching. Uh, so, for example, that first shot, I completely ignore. Um, your head was up. I'd expect it to go high, and it did go high. So, in a way, it confirms that we're right, but that you've got the wrong technique. Right. All the targets are delivered by Prematic Traps, and Chris and his colleagues have had some strange requests in the past from some of their more eccentric clients. A colleague of mine who's now retired, uh, Andrew, he, he had a gentleman turn up many years ago who asked to shoot, to practice shooting flying fish from the back of his yacht in the Caribbean. And Andrew was able to find a target that satisfied him for that. Um, <laughs> how, do you, how do you achieve a flying fish with a clay fish? Well, actually, we, we, used a, we used a trap as low as we could set it, just a few inches off the ground, and then set it up as fast as we could. But it, it, he was happy, went away happy, and uh, whether or not he achieved success, I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of a flying fish going away target, let's concentrate on some grouse coming at me. We have many, many stands. We have way over 100 traps, automatic traps, um, on various layouts. So, for example, the traditional grouse butts, uh, partridge stands, uh, various heights of pheasant, um, lots of sporting clay stands. Uh, many of them are geared for our, our corporate entertaining and for our beginners courses and so on, but there are many difficult ones as well. Uh, for example, pigeon, pigeon hide layout is, is set up at the moment. Uh, that might be fun to, to try shortly. Got to give that a go. Um, so there, there's lots, lots of variety. A pigeon hide stand, that sounds like fun, especially as the targets are delivered by a field's worth of traps. It looks like the Primatic breeding ground. Finally, Chris tests me with some screaming pheasants. The high tower is a challenge, and so it should be. Can you go for a slightly earlier shot this time? Oh. Much better. What the earlier shot did, the, the timing suited this target better, it also suits you. Yeah. Uh, the end result was a, was a nice, clean kill, just, just ahead of the vertical. Back to the wonderfully laid out reception where I have my measurements taken. It has heads and price tags to admire and weep over. And I have my precious stats. Now we're getting the head on the stock. We, we can establish the, the stock height. And that was the only problem from my point of view. And I need to see enough shots with the correct gun mount to establish the, the, the comb height. 
In Harry Potter, the wand is supposed to choose the wizard. Well, at Holland and Holland's shooting grounds, Chris is the wizard, and he makes sure the wand fits this muggle very well. For more information about the ground and what it offers, please go to hollandandholland.com.